top destinations of Trista. Number three, the pond in the back of the schoolyard. You can probably fish here. Hi, welcome back. Why, wow, it's a very nice garden you've got here. The garden's Edo. Your last name is not Vice, right? You must not be related to that other guy named Vice. I don't know about that. Okay, I'm listening. I'm curious. Uh, I am a connoisseur of fun, so uh, it's a it's a rare opportunity to find somebody with a common interest. Let's talk about what we see as the most fun thing to do in this place. I am partial to a little bit of fifty cups myself. Monica wants to join a sports club, but she doesn't know what. Dude, you, ju you just met me today. Oh, you're Patrick. <laughs> oh, you're the snooty boys. Are you snooty boy number three or number two? Are you kidding me? I am number one. <laughs> he is the real peach. Let's make him to a cobbler. Oh, Loggins is a hard one. Fight, 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 fight. Attitude adjustment. Wait a minute. Is that legal? Can you say that? Real heal of the people here. All right. So she is a captain. So why is he, Patrick? Why are you so stupid? Does that have something to do with the noble diet? She appears to be a noble too. So he's just picking fight with some random dude, while the real captain's over here. Alan's not into this whole thing. Uh, I can introduce to you to a, a gentleman that very much shares your views on this world. Well, at least she's expressing them slightly more gracefully. Hey. I don't care what views you have in life, as long as you do it in a respectful manner. And then fight afterwards. Gotta get the order correct. So Laura wants to swim. I like to swim too, please. No, I don't want to swim anymore. Please let me go. Please stop talking to me. Thanks, fine. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Casper seems to be easily influenced. Let's go upstairs. It's our first day of school. Well, it's not exactly our first day, but it's my first day at school. And on my first day at school, I do what every good kid does. Knock on every single door. Rub my belly in every face. And kiss all the babies. I can't. I, I can't. I can't. It doesn't let me. Where are all the babies? Well, it's nothing else to do here. This here is Monk. His name rhymes with junk. He 
He's got a pair of trunks that he calls the Badonkadonk. Oh. Rex. You... You're a good boy. I think we'll get along just fine. Though... What's going on over here? Horses before the ladies. Am I right? The riding club. Lambert Mach. The first or the second. Every generation they get faster. Wait for me! Wait a minute. Friendship, hard work, and success. I heard that on a TV commercial once. When you think the traditional Erebonia sport, the word lacrosse, should come screaming into your mind. This, these pillars of sports, the three pillars of youth itself, friendship, heart. Yep. The pillars of youth, because once you become an adult, it's just all failure. Blazing Maiden. I hope you did not give that name to yourself. That would be kind of weird. Oh. Discrimination. Okay. What are you doing? Wait. Why is she somehow popular? How do you know about her? Why is she talking? Why is everybody talking about Al Alyssa? Alisa? Uh, seems to be a somewhat one sided rivalry. Not unlike Machias and the other guy. Machias seems like the kind of guy that has a lot of one sided rivalries. It's like Richard Nixon. Can't go in th- no? Can I? I can't. The auditorium is only open when there's an opera playing. How many times do I need to take they does that black knack with my mate? Oh. I'm not quite sure what kind of accent she's supposed to have, unfortunately. I wish out of all the NPCs, the person I wish would get a voice act uh, would be Becky. Becky's great. We damn fae here. <laughs> That's what I say. It's a pure ticket. Alright, whatever, man. You're a pure ticket. And I'm a peach. Oh, Machias. Looking longingly at yet another rival of the library. Oh. He's a stalker now, too. Okay, well. You know what that means. Let's go bother Yusus. He loves to be bothered. I see a shiny! Thanks, thanks. You can't read on your own time what the library does, huh? Okay, alright, yeah, okay. Yeah, inquisitive mind, whatever. No? I'm in the useless club. I just started today. It's also called the Annoying Machias Club.
least he's pretty straightforward about what he wants and does not want. Rail Imperial Railway of History. Trains are good. Go trains. Female student. You don't even get a name. If you read enough books, maybe they'll give you a name. You can give one to yourself. But then again, this is the Empire, so... I'm not sure if you have that much freedom. Okay, let's do our bidding. We've, we've done enough. Again, you know, I've played this game already, so I'm not... Going to talk to just everybody every single time, but we'll try to hit some highlights if I remember. This should be the student union building. I know the cafeteria is on the first floor, but I wonder where the student council room is. Obvious, the basement. Hey there, first year. Hey there, homeless student. Um, how's it going? You look like you came from the fa Final Fantasy series. Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> oh, yeah, it has. Guess he must be a second year. It's not easy, but I'm managing. Mostly. Though I have a feeling it's only going to get harder from here on out. Starting from this instant. <laughs> of course it will. Yeah, starting from this instant. The Bandanade second year. Your class is going to be more intense than the others, too. You know too much. But you just hang in there, okay? Alright. Uh, okay. Please teach me the ways of hanging in there. Um, wait. You're a second year student, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask your name? Hey, now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're so friendly. Uh, first things first. How about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Please don't pull down my pants. Trick? Hmm. You got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? Borrow? Mm, I, I think so. Pretty sure I do anyway. Do I even have 50 mira? What's the currency conversion thing here? Cheers. I don't trust him. He's... Alright. Watch closely. No man who has that big of a sack is trustworthy. What? You know what I mean. Alright. Now! Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? It's in your mouth. It's in your... Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Too bad. It's actually in either hand. Guess you win. I'm usually pretty good at following moving objects, too. Though, wait. You said this was a trick. Which means... You are the coin. You catch on quick. Huh? I wasn't yeah, expecting that keep trick. Up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh, and uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. Hey, man, don't get ahead of yourself. I know it's in the basement. See you around. I know a basement when I see one. We can't. Yeah. There are no we can't in the Empire. How are you from here? Wait, my fifty. Do I actually lose that 50 mirror? Uh, I probably should have checked my inventory before. That's probably helps that you're muttering to yourself all the I time. Met many of the second years yet. I wonder if they're all like that. Oh well. At least now I know where I'm going. Though if it really is open late, I guess there's no real rush. I might as well see what else people are up to in here. Yeah, let's investigate. If you're going to take over this campus, it's only only fair that we inspect our subjects. Students canteen. Okay. Sounds fair. At least call him hungry student. It's disgraceful. Yes, I'm from second. I'm from class some. Se, I am from class number seven. Do you want an autograph? 
And why is the noble talking to a commoner? This seems to be a scandal. Scandalous affair. Oh, they're both second years. Apparently, in one year, the boundary has been blurred. Those damn kids. Don't you know how hard we worked to, to build up that artificial... Oh, anyway. Okay. Oh, you're not done yet. You do sell swords. I like that. I like swords. There's no basement, by the way. Just a flower. Of course, behind us flower bed is probably a secret door somewhere. Delio is in the photography club. And Dorothy is very absorbed in her literature. She seems very happy. Just leave her be. Tao boys with glasses. Uh, I can introduce you to one of my acquaintances. Actually, I don't know how tall Machias is. Kenneth, gone fishing. So many boys with glasses. Are you tall? Oh, you're a chess player. Let's see. I'm trying to look at the positions on the board. Well, I don't know how he got himself into this dilemma. Let's see. Well, based on... How do you even do this? He's lost 3 pawns, a knight, and a queen. And his opponent lost 3 pawns, a knight, and a queen. So this is an even fight. Hey there, Steven. I trust that you will beat your invisible friend. Or enemy. And that's the photography room. Staff only. Me. Dark room, huh? I wonder if I will find dark matter inside. Hello. Are you dark matter? Please come in. It's open. I recognize that voice. Pardon the interruption. It's the cute little chipmunk. That took my weapon away from me. Oh, you're... that girl. Please, call me Miss President. <laughs> it's been about two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. How do you know my name? Instructor Sarah sent you. How do you know right? her name? Yes. So, you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she got moved up a few years. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Yes, you. Oh. I'm sorry, I was just wondering, um, are you a second year student? Tell me your secrets. <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. Everybody is my junior. The name's Toa Herschel. Uh, pleased to meet you, Toa. My name is Ring, Ring Schwarzer. Please call me Baron Schwarzer. I'm the student council president. Also, the Dark Lightning. President? Come on, Ring. She is in the student president. Oh, gosh. Uh-huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. I like how she said that. Does that surprise you? So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? You got something wrong with it? You got something, you got a matter with that? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Yes, including convincing you that I'm your president. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously the student council president? Man, Ring. That's hard to believe. <coughs> um, so, the reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for class 7, right? Give it back. Oh, of course. Here you go. Is that 50 mirrors? Yours is the one on top. 
Let's see. Oh, our student notebooks. I completely forgot about these. Okay, so that means we have to give it to everybody I'm really else. Sorry, it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. You'll see that your entire notebook is empty. And even using a different kind of battle orb mint. So yours had to be compiled separately. Does she have to write all of this? Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle orb mints. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year. So we could just reuse last year's template. But the Arcus type you're using works quite differently, so we have to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. I mean, I, I feel like that's something that should be written by, you know, the factory that produces it. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, who's we? I mean, she's pretty clear pretty about this. Just me? Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. See, this is what happens when big company runs the world. Oh, no, no. If anything, it, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. They're making students write instruction manuals. Is that really part of the student council's job? Oh, though? it's a contract job. It seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right, but she's always so busy. Yep. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too, so I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Nice person. Maybe a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So you just need me to give these to the other students in class seven, right? Yes, and you will find out that. Yes, please. Toa is like. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do too. You know, everybody in this series, or in this game, anyway, is huh? broken. Uh, what do you mean? She is probably the most broken of them all. <laughs> about it from instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work. Uh, that, right? That freaking lady. It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting class 7 off to a great start here at the academy. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Come on, Rain. What happened to your people skills that you so adroitly demonstrated down in the dungeon? Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? What happened to Dodge now, man? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? Hey, I'm not a bracer. She said you were all really eager to help out. So I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. I hate adults. Why, indeed. Yeah, this is giving me all sorts of flashbacks about how my parents tricked me into going to kindergarten when I was like six and I didn't want to go and they're like, no, we're taking you to the park. I'm like, okay, I like parks. And next thing I know, I am in the prison. Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. <sighs> There's no way I can turn her down. No, no. Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. We all need to be educated. Your plate is as full as I've seen, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. Consider it paying my tuition. Yeah. I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding oh, there for a moment. Don't worry, Toa. There are plenty of where that came from. <laughs> but don't worry. I won't give you anything too difficult. So, do you want to start with assassination first, or uh, how about uh, negotiating an uh, international tre trade so treaty? just be fulfilling requests from people in the academy, and in Trista. Requests? I personally recommend the assassination. Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Yeah, because you know, like, diplomats are real pain in the ass to deal with. And Will that be okay with talk you? Talk about lawyers. You don't want to deal with lawyers. Sure thing. Thanks. All right. So, we have picked our club. Uh, how long do you st ready? stay in there? Uh, what a what day. A day. I can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. Oh, what a day. And she's still got more student council work to do yet. How is she so busy? She's never gonna live past 30. Hello? 
This is Reen Schwarzer speaking. <laughs> That's hilarious. A fung that big. I haven't seen one that big since 1990s. Good dog, my favorite little wunderkind. I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. Ausgezeichnet! If this is how you treat your favorite little wunderkind, I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. She's in! She's in! Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing uh, next week. This is not getting any better. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figure, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. Are you calling me a bird? I have a feeling half the reason they're as busy as they are is because of certain instructors. But alright, I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free day tomorrow helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. Yeah, sure. Entirely up to me. If you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me, so that won't be a problem. There is one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? Good question. You're the first one to volunteer. This seems like the kind of task typically entrusted to the class president or vice president. So, Emma, or Machias. They look like they have much better thing to do with their time. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Eusus and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. Hmm. He's choosing his words very carefully here. So what makes me so special, exactly? Uh, you're the second in incarnation of the flame demon. Well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center of class 7. I... Pardon? I don't... I don't... I'm not saying you're its leader, of course. What? You don't get to decide that. I'm the leader of everybody. But in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are... special. Because you're like so average. Surely even you can see that. You're the most average of them all. Well... Uh, I'm so average and I end up being special. That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. I, I, I don't feel comfortable dribbling the ball down the court with all those beans, but okay. No beans, just ream. Wait, what are you drinking? Beans? Bean juice. Beer, of course. Beer is a kind of bean. It's the weekend and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas, all by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. Well, you're not going to find him by sitting in your own room. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. I don't really understand that at all. How can you plant yourself somewhere without knowing what you're planning yourself into. And on that note... And plus, you know, the school is the perfect opportunity to drift around. Make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! I hate toodles. If I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? Oh, there's a nice patch of grass to my right. She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Maybe I should just try going with the flow and see what comes of it. Going with the flow and planting yourself at the same time. I don't see a paradox there at all. Maybe she's telling us to be a sea kelp. Yes. We have to give everybody their notebooks back. 
It's some only something that only I can do. Because I'm special. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. You're going to get your notebooks back next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.